Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom. We own all of our vehicles here. Every vehicle you see in the building when you visit us is for sale. It does have, they do all have payment options on them. We offer uh, financing through our collector car lenders. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out hangsters.com. That's where all our most current inventory is. We leave our YouTube videos up with, for both of our stores at all times. We never take them down when the videos, uh, when, I'm sorry, when the vehicles sell. So you want to check out our website to make sure this is a current piece of inventory. So we're going to have some fun today. We have a 1980 Jeep, CJ Jeep here. Uh, power steering, power brakes. Uh, we don't need no air conditioning because it doesn't have any doors and it pretty much is all open. So um, this is a little bit out of the realm of what we're used to dealing in. We deal in mainly 60 and 70 muscle cars, but occasionally being in Daytona Beach, Jeeps are a hot commodity here. We come across these Jeeps and we offer them up for sale. So this is kind of a, a cool piece that we're gonna present to you today. So let's uh, continue a walk around here and check the thing out. Now that we've seen underneath the hood, you got your chrome brush guard in the front. Walking around, it's a nice blue color. Um, Goodyear Wrangler tires with the aggressive tread on there. By no means is this paint job perfect. This is a Jeep. It's meant to have fun with, take to the beach, take off roading. Dual mirrors on either side. You got the Bimney top here. Looking in the inside there, you got your, uh, I guess, stainless steel dash board, console, bunch of gauges in it. There's speakers, but there's no radio. So somebody took the radio out. That's the way we got it. We took this thing in on trade, and that's the way we received it. Uh, rugged Ridge molded uh, floor mats in there, floor liners. Got your uh, step bumpers, uh, step guards on either side there. There is a tear in the seat. There is covers on both seats. The cover is torn and so is the seat on the uh, driver's side there. Nothing else, uh, passenger or rear seat is torn up. You got your full size spare in the back. There is no jack on this Jeep, so. Does open up and swing out. It's in good condition behind there. Let's see if we can get this popped open for you guys. The whole inside of the uh, the Jeep is Rhino line. Whole floor, the whole interior. Let's make a fun beach Jeep. Again, not really much to show you guys. It's just going to be a fun piece. You know, something that's inexpensive. It'll be a second, third, or fourth vehicle for somebody. Just maybe something to kind of tool around in on the weekends. Front windshield's in good condition. Wipers work, we know that. We'll show you guys that later. There's a bunch of, uh, you know, paint imperfections in the hood. You know, all the way around the thing. Again, it's just a... Uh, Kind of a fun Jeep to, to take off roading and take to the beach and just kind of enjoy on the weekends. It is nice Jeep underneath. We're going to take it outside on the rack right now. We're going to show that to you guys here in just a second. We are underneath our 1980 Jeep. You guys will really be able to see underneath this one. I can put my arm all the way up in the air and can you reach the oil pan? That's how high up this thing is. But you can see the oil pan is nice and dry. Both sides. No leaks at this time whatsoever. Uh, front disc brakes, you'll see drum brakes in the rear later on. The frame rails on the Jeep look outstanding. Same thing with the uh, trans pan, I mean, real nice and dry. It's got a flywheel cover on it, you can see that often, usually they're taken off down here because of the heat. Cross member looks to be in good shape. Rear frame rails on the thing are in great shape. Um, underneath the running boards there, step boards, you don't see any rust. Those things have a tendency to want to rot out underneath. They don't. Um, rear end's in good shape. Nice and dry, nice and clean. Drum brakes again in the rear. Dual exhaust leading out the back there on either side of the gas tank. Gas tank appears to be in good shape. Whole undercarriage of the, of the Jeep appears to be nice and solid and in good condition. Again, this is just a fun little toy. Um, going to be offered inexpensive, something we took in on trade. 
um, something we don't really seek out to buy, but it, it is definitely fun, especially here in Daytona Beach. We have uh, Jeep Beach Week here in late April. Tons and tons, the most Jeeps you've ever seen in your life. You know, we get a lot of visitors down uh, from Georgia, do a lot of Jeep up there too, but even up in the northern states, you know, if you guys have a nice, uh, want a nice summer cruiser, this might be the thing. Speaking of Daytona Beach, we're gonna take you guys and show you the beach right now. And we're gonna take our uh, little Jeep here, 1980 Jeep, on a ride. Okay, we're here inside our 1980 Jeep. I forgot to mention to you guys earlier, what you see in the pictures and what you see in this video is what you get with the Jeep. This is the only top we have for it. We do not have any other tops. You do not have any doors whatsoever, hard doors or leather doors. So what you see is what you get. Um, turn signals work, driver's side, passenger side. There's uh, external temp and fuel gauges which are both functioning, fuel and temp. Uh, oil pressure right there is functioning. We're not charging. No, obviously the amp gauge is not working. So we'll try to get that rectified. The RPMs is uh, wipers are functioning. But I don't know if in a Jeep you really give a crap about wipers when you have no doors and no top, you're gonna get rained on anyways. So what's a little rain on the windshield? It is an automatic Jeep with no clutch, but it's a manual shift drive body. So we're going to manually shift this thing. Four wheel drive does work. I tested that earlier. We can show you guys that when we take it down on the beach, because that's where we're going. It's a beautiful day here in Daytona, and we're gonna go check out what's going on on the beach. Check out the Atlantic Ocean. It's windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me. This is cheap fun. This thing is really cool. Beach looks like in late July. It's about 95 and sunshine today. Hopefully you guys can hear me with as windy as it is down here. I just want to show you a couple things. First of all, on the running boards, they pull out and drop down and then they'll go back up, which is cool. Again, we're down here on the beach. This is cheap fun. Whether it's a weekend driver for you, Georgia, Florida, Ohio, wherever you may be at in the country, this is, a, this is a fun Jeep to have. I wanted to show you guys, when you visit Daytona Beach, in our gift shop, you can get your cool collectors, America's premier muscle car showroom, Hangsters Hot Rods. We have the black for the gentleman. And we have the teal here for the ladies with the V-neck. And then the back's got the same logo. Windy, blowing around. You get the idea. Also, maybe if you ask, we might throw one one when you buy this Jeep or when you buy any other car in our showroom. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters Hot Rods. 
Tanksters.com is our website. Please check us out. Check out the 70 to 80 still photos you'll see of this vehicle, plus this cool video we're shooting right now. We'll see you guys when you come visit Daytona Beach.